At approximately 3 p.m. on Thursday, June 4th, Polk County Fire Dispatchers paged the Cushing, Milltown, and St. Croix Falls Fire Departments to respond to a house fire at 2322 East Twin Lakes Avenue in Eureka, Wisconsin. The house, located on Twin Lake in Eureka, was occupied by an elderly woman and her husband, Mickey and Ben, who did not give their last name, but they were safely away from the house when firefighters arrived. As you can see from these images, the massive plumes of smoke were an indication that the fire was big and, as it turned out, had engulfed the entire house and started several grass fires around the house and adjacent properties. As we arrived on location, the fire department had blocked off all access to the burning structure, which was located on a long shared driveway on the north side of Twin Lake. We were, however, able to access the adjacent property where a large grass fire was spreading in a neighbor's field about 200 yards from the house. Blowing smoke from this burning building and grass were visibly thick, which kept firefighters on high alert for changing winds as hot spots continued to pop up even after they had been extinguished earlier. From the neighbor's yard, we could only see smoke billowing over the trees where a house once stood. Soon, the St. Croix Falls Fire Department arrived with precious water. Fighting rural fires is more complex than in a city. Here, the fire departments must bring their own water as there are no hydrants nearby. A member of the Milltown Fire Department prepared to go into the woods to spray the spreading brush fire while a neighbor looks on. From a staging area in the neighbor's yard, Milltown firefighters pull hoses from their truck into the burning woods. From about 25 feet into the woods facing the burning home, you can see the line of fire about 75 feet from a neighbor's house. Getting this fire out meant protecting another home from catching fire. Members of the St. Croix Falls Fire Department sprayed and monitored the grass fire for any hot spots that may flare up as winds blew. Relying on tanker trucks, firefighters move along the driveway to where they find flare-ups. Looking up the driveway towards what was once someone's home, we only see an endless trail of tankers delivering water to put out the devastating fire. The fire's ominous smoke drew many curious people who wanted to know what was going on. We spoke to Jean Canifax. Uh, we were coming home and saw smoke, and so my, uh, my sister drove here and to find out what was going on. And then we found out that, that uh, the house had started burning, and I guess I don't know whether it's down to the ground or not. Okay. But uh, there was a propane tank there, okay. and I don't know whether that exploded or not. Okay. The street was a standstill with fire trucks from three departments taking turns fighting the fire and delivering water. Once allowed near the home, we came across the fire department's water transfer pool that allows the tanker trucks to feed the pumper trucks the water that is delivered to the firemen fighting the fire. From this vantage point, which is as close as the fire department would allow us to go, we could only see a collapsed shell of a home that once stood in the shadow of such beautiful surroundings. This is a tragedy that is only bearable because no one was hurt. As the St. Croix Falls team arrived to help at the house, yet another tanker fills the pool with water. As we were leaving the scene, Polk Burnett arrived to shut down the power and make sure everything was safe on site. Local resident and neighbor Victory Green spent some time discussing what had happened just moments before she heard an explosion and called 911. Instinctively, Miss Green drove from her house down to see if Mickey and Ben were okay and found them coming away from their house unharmed but in shock as they watched it burn in front of them. According to Miss Green, Mickey was in the house when she heard a noise outside near a propane grill she had been recently using. She went outside to see what had happened and found the house in flames. After trying unsuccessfully to put out the fire, she left to find her husband who was on a walk. 
Mickey speculated that a bear that had been seen moments before the explosion may have toppled the grill she had been using earlier, but nothing has been confirmed. As firefighters fill out the report, Mickey and Ben try to piece together what happened. No, they don't have their home and they probably lost some special things. But things can be replaced and luckily they have each other. I'm Kirk Anderson reporting from Eureka for Wisconsin News.